Hey there, my name is Megan and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my November and December wrap up. So I actually did not read very much in the months of November and December. I had met my Goodreads goal, I think in October. So my reading definitely slowed down during the last two months of 2019. But I still wanted to share with you guys what I read. So in the months of November and December, I read five books and DNF'd one. So as with all my wrap-ups, I start with the lowest rated and go up to the highest rated. So the book that I DNF'd was Scythe by Neil Schusterman. This is a YA dystopian sci-fi. And I had been putting off reading this book for the longest time because I tried reading Unwind by Neil Schusterman and found that his writing style just didn't mesh with me. But this book and this series has been getting so much attention and praise that I thought I was missing out on something. So I decided to give it a try. And unfortunately, I had the same problems with this book as I did with Unwind. So to begin with, I find that the story reads very young, which isn't a bad thing, but this deals with a very mature topic. The story takes place in a world where mankind has conquered death, so people known as Sais are the only ones granted authority to murder people, and it's totally okay. So this premise is very, very complex, and I thought that the book was going to delve into deeper topics like the value of human life and, you know, is murder ever justified? But at least in book one, the only theme that it dealt with was uh, corruption and abuse of power, which I feel like is a theme that is dealt with a lot in books. So I was really disappointed that more complex themes weren't addressed when I think that they could have been. Maybe they are in subsequent books, but it definitely wasn't in book one. So unfortunately, this was a DNF, and I did read about 75 to 80% of this book before I decided to call it quits. My three-star rating for the months of November and December was The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. This is the third and final book to her Folk of the Air trilogy. All in all, this book was a really big disappointment, especially because book two was so good and had a setup just for an awesome finale. I found that this book, first off, was incredibly short, which is fine because Holly Black does write very fast-paced things, but in scenes that should have been more fleshed out, she completely glossed over. Um, for example, the major battle scene at the end where all of the forces come together and it's good versus evil, that was over in I think like a couple of pages. It was just completely jumped over. And that was the most crucial climactic part of the book and it was just such a letdown. So I still like the book. It was really easy to read. It was fun. I liked being back in the world with the characters, but all in all, this book just was not a very strong finale. The next book I read was Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. This was a reread for me. I read it with my English 1 students. Romeo and Juliet is definitely not my favorite Shakespeare play. I find the teenage angst part of it, while somewhat representative of teenagers, a little bit overdramatic. However, I still love William Shakespeare. I love his play on words, his figurative language, the way that he conveys emotion using words in figurative language. I think he's an absolute brilliant playwright and I love reading his work. Romeo and Juliet, just for me personally, isn't my favorite play, but it was still fun to read, so I gave it a four out of five stars. Coffee break. My next four star read is The Two Towers by J.R.R. Tolkien. This is the second book in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. The Two Towers is definitely my least favorite out of the two books, but it's definitely a really, really enjoyable read. I think I just don't really like reading so much about the ends. <laughs> I find them to be a little bit boring, and I also don't like how much page time is given to Gollum. He's also one of my least favorite characters. Those two characters are very prevalent in this book, which is probably why I don't like it as much. And I also found the last third of the story to be pretty, pretty boring. So this is uh, definitely, like I said, my least favorite of the trilogy, but I can't wait to go on and read The Return of the King sometime early in 2020 so I can wrap up my reread of this trilogy. My next four star read was The Burning White by Brent Weeks. This is an adult fantasy series and it is the last book in his Lightbringer series. So this book, first off, took me a month to read. It is 992 pages and it's incredibly dense. And it was a five star read for me all the way up until the end. 
And the reason is, is a couple things happened that were just done out of convenience. I don't want to give away any spoilers, but there were things that happened with Kip and Gavin that just seemed like divine intervention because. Now, Gavin's story was more justifiable. And I definitely could understand that plot line and that made sense. But what happened with Kip at the end just was almost like it was thrown in there to propel the plot. And it really, really brought down my star rating. And then the last thing that brought down my star rating was there were important pieces of information that were given to us in earlier books around Andros and Kip. And that information was never expanded on. In fact, the characters, at least for Kip, doesn't even know this information, but we the reader do. And it was important information. And that loose thread was never tied up. And I don't understand why. It's almost like he got a little bit lazy at the end and just didn't want to keep writing. I don't know. But this book is definitely very strong. I absolutely loved it. I gobbled up every single part of it. It's a great, great finale. This is easily one of my favorite adult fantasy series of all time, and I highly recommend it. I was just disappointed that this could have been a five-star read, except for those couple things that knocked it down to four stars. And lastly, I read The Outsiders by Essie Hinton. This is a book that I also read with my students. This is a reread for me. And if y'all have watched any of my videos, you probably know that The Outsiders is one of my favorite books of all time. And upon reread, I love it even more. I absolutely love these characters. I love that this story can traverse generations and even to this day still be relevant to students and adults alike. I get things from this book as well. So this is a book that I will continue to reread in the future. It's one of my favorites. And if you have not read it, I highly recommend it. All right, guys, so that is it for my November and December wrap up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them. And I will see you soon in another video. Bye.